Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to Led Zeppelin. The only song I've heard from this band is Stairway to Heaven, so we are digging in today, starting with the song Since I've Been Loving You. This clip is from their 1973 concert at Madison Square Garden. Here we go. much happening I want to go back I'm not gonna go all the way back to the beginning because I can't speak to the skill that I saw <laughs> on guitar but it was incredible to watch um I guess when I hear a when someone says Led Zeppelin I think rock but this is so bluesy and so soulful that I don't, I, I wasn't anticipating this. So I'm gonna go back to when the vocals come in. That, I, I am, I'm gonna play it and pause and rewind because it sounded like this incredible fry, um, just this really cool texture. So I gotta, I gotta process that again. Here we go. It just comes out of nowhere and it's already so high. I I love this. So he was in what I would consider a mixed voice. Um, but as he, as the, the, the line progresses, it, you can almost hear the relaxation in his chords. Like they were really, um, I feel like there was full adduction at the beginning of this because it was just so clear and so present. And now it's very conversational and very bluesy. I'm just, I can't get over this, this sound of, I think the piece as a whole, as a whole, I'm two minutes in. Okay, here we go. 
staring at his stomach right now trying to watch what muscles may or may not be moving if any um it doesn't look like he's using a whole a whole ton of support from his abdomen which makes me think that naturally he just has this amount of mm, I can't even say it's volume because obviously you know everything's mic'd but there's there's this power to his voice that is just so effortless. And I was expecting to see like a lot of like contracting muscles in his abdomen. And he's just, I mean, he's leaning back. So that's one way to engage your abs. But other than that, you don't see a lot of tightening and flexing. So it's just, it, he must have incredible lung capacity. Um, uh, I'm going to back it up just a tiny bit. Here we go. Yes, but I did what I could. Yes, I did. The little shift that he did there in his mix, like he had so much more head resonance and it was, um, it was a little bit nasal, but it was just, um, it was so bright and so forward and he had this incredible texture associated with it. And then when he just knocked it down a notch, um, that's what, it just feels so conversational. And it was just like this instant shift. so many thoughts you can kind of see in certain moments um he he steps up to the mic um like a couple beats before he has to sing or before I don't even know if some of this would even be called singing you know sort of speech like singing um but he has uh you can see his mouth open you can see him take these gorgeous breaths the other thing that's striking me I'm just sort of imagining when this piece was originally composed and when they're, you know, in a studio or on a bus or wherever it was that this was created and how 
what came first if it was um the coordination between all of the instrumentalists is just astounding um and especially the vocals and guitar here they flatter each other so well and it's just they keep weaving in and out with one another. And so I'm wondering if, you know, the the guitar was being created and then he said, ooh, this would be a cool vocal or vice versa. If like he started with a vocal line and then the guitar was just riffing. A, I don't know. I don't know how they I don't know what their process was, but it's very cool to watch here as it's all come together. The last thing I noticed, I'm going to see if I can find it when he that last vocal line it was a lot higher and you could see him kind of like scrunching his face just a little bit. It's such a, I always encourage singers finding to find ways to eliminate the need for your facial muscles so that everything's happening here. You're not reliant on them, but that way you can save them um, for moments, whether it's, you know, a live show or you're maybe feeling under the weather, all where extra stressors sort of come into your life and come into your performance, then you can use those muscles to help alleviate some of the the work that you have to do to produce some of these sounds. So when you scrunch up like that, gorgeous way of not only engaging more nasal resonance, but really taking a lot of the pressure off your larynx and not feeling like you have to, um, like you have to keep all of the weight in those muscles. So I don't know if I'm going to find it again. We might just keep going, but here we go. gonna listen to that again I am I'm having a moment you know here's a poll you guys can answer this in the comments what kind of when you think about rock music I'd love to know what kind of songs you prefer to hear and I think there's always a time and a place for everything you know there are certainly moments in my life where I just want an incredible anthem and I want to jam out and I want to bounce up and down but sometimes it is so thrilling to have a song like this that's very very chill very groovy very bluesy so that you don't feel inclined to move so much with your body and then you can just sit there and find your zone where wherever it is and and just marvel at the incredible musicianship. It reminds me a little bit of, you know, going to a jazz club or a listening room where you've got these incredible musicians, but it's it just feels so much more intimate because you're I don't know, mesmerized by their playing. Anywho, here we go. Here we go. I 
have to comment on that. That texture, going from ooh to yeah, is very brave because ooh lengthens the vocal tract. That vowel is a really nice, safe vowel um, for most vocalists. And when you transition to a yeah, you, I think, I think it's just, so, so, what am I trying to say? You become so much more vulnerable to strain and um, tension depending on how you make that shift. And so the fact that he maintained this incredible sound and switched those vowels at this point, plays in his range. I think that's another reason I just want to keep playing it over and over again. Last time, I promise. a beautiful glottal stop at the beginning of that so we got full adduction it's just this clear present sound now oh my tears they fell like rain don't you see them falling One more time. I love the improvisatory feel that this whole song has. Um, but then I, it dawned on me with all of these ad libs that it sounds like he's doing. Um, his breath control is so, so gorgeous. I mean, I'm not hearing any big gasps or anything like that. And he's creating these really great arcs in the lyrics. So I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm just really. Um, I'm really hearing the words as opposed to getting sucked into all the other parts of this song. I can really, I can really hear what he's saying. Uh, here we go.
I need to hear that last, uh, it sounded like a very high pitched scream, but I couldn't tell if it was the guitar that was creating the higher pitch that I was hearing. So I'm going to try and find it. Here we go. My word, my, I can lose it. I've been trying so hard. have to hear it again. You'll have to let me know. It really does sound like it's his voice, but <sighs> yeah, I was watching the guitar that time to sort of reconcile, okay, what is the guitarist actually playing? But yes, what it, okay, this time vocals again. Here we go. I know there was a serious lack of vocal technique in this one, but that entire piece, there's just so much to take in. What I will, the one thing that I have to say about his technique um, has more to do with stamina. Again, I don't, I need to do my research and, you know, figure out if this is the format of the song, you know, every single time because it does it sounds so improvisatory and so to create that sort of sensation that sort of feeling that emotion every single time to make it feel like it's new and fresh every time you hear it that has got to take so much energy and so much stamina and again the coordination between the vocals and the guitar just blowing my mind right now. I, yeah, I, I'm i gonna, per usual, I'm gonna need to <laughs> take a beat and go listen to this a couple more times and just sort of zone out so I can really take it all in. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're gonna stop there today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.